Hi everyone, and uh, welcome to my makeup tutorial. My name is Robert. I'm one of the trainers for the Southwest, based out of Los Angeles, and I'm here with the lovely Pawnee. Hi guys. Um, she's also she's playing dual roles today, so she's also a trainer for Mac, but she's going to be my lovely model because look at her. Um, and today we're going to be talking about the, one of the new spring collections, and um, it's called Art Library. So we are going to write a new chapter on blush placement and color placement because we're going to play with color today because we know that's what you guys want to see. And we're going to be using this amazing new palette. Yay! This is the new art library palette. It's called It's Designer. I love how it's swatched all on the front so you can see all of the colors as well as having a mirror in the compact. I love that. Um, but enough about that, let's just get, let's do some makeup. So before I even start on the eyes, I wanted to just get a little bit of color on Connie's lips using the Powder Kiss lipsticks because what I love about these is the versatility of them. Not only are they a beautiful color and finish, but the matte texture allows me to be able to like really play with it all over the face, not just on the lips. Connie told me specifically not to make her look like ketchup and mustard today. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not going to do that. And we're going to play with some yellow. So I think when it comes to like art library, like the world is like your coloring book when it comes to these palettes, because there's so many options for you to have. There's so many just different ways of doing a makeup. And when I was thinking about doing this makeup, I really thought about like, doing a blown out eye, right? And like doing a lot of eyeshadow centric looks. But when Pawnee and I were actually talking and then looking at her face, it was really more about like just being almost intuitive with the colors. We're taking the yellow color, which is called, oh, it's chrome yellow. But it's a different chrome yellow, it feels, I feel like. Okay, yeah, why do you think it's a different chrome yellow? It is definitely a lot more intense. The color payoff is so much more vibrant. Yeah, it's mostly gonna be all around this beautiful cheekbone. Obviously, gorgeous skin, gorgeous cheekbones on Pawnee. And really with this look, it could easily just, you can take a big old blush brush and easily just do that, but we're talking about putting the artistry into this look, and so using a smaller brush and then lightly doing specific strokes to work your way out is really going to benefit you a little bit more. Okay, first layer of Fix Plus going on. Let's do it. So what this is going to do now is it's going to start, start to set the chrome yellow and make it more meld into the skin. So I want this look to be like skin-like. I don't want it to look like there's powder eyeshadows all over her eye. I don't want it to look um, like just words on a page, right? Okay, round two. Now we're going to go in with a little bit more color. We're gonna use this orange color. It's the Can't Afford This, just on the very outer edges. And I'm actually, you see how I'm just taking the belly of the brush, resting it, and then working it into the yellow. Smoothness, the smooth, smoothness is the word, yeah. It is now. It is now. We want this to look like she could rock this on a regular day. <laughs> well, maybe not a regular day, but you know. I think when it comes to makeup too, it's like, it can evolve as the idea is evolving. Has that ever happened to you? You've been doing a makeup and all of a sudden it just takes an, a turn and you just keep going with it, right? Totally. It's like a choose your own adventure. Okay, another layer of Fix Plus. going to use a little bit of this gold mm. to create a different texture. So same brush that I've been using, but I really want, again, like this really amazing, this gradation going to bookend all of the particles onto the skin. We can cut the other one out. <laughs>
So I think this is good. I think this is really beautiful. And um, I'm actually gonna do a little bit more. Just for, I mean, we always, as makeup artists, we always wanna be able to do more and like a little bit more here, a little bit more there. Right. But you gotta also know when to stop, know when to hold them. Know when to close that page. Yeah, oh, know when to end that chapter for <laughs> sure. We know when to put a period on it, okay. right? Okay, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to stop. I just love that blend that it's giving you. It's so pretty. <clears throat> okay. I want to top this look off with some lashes. We're going to use the new Art Library lashes. Hello. Um, these are the number 76, like the gas station. <laughs> They're so beautiful. If you guys can see, like, there's this really gorgeous, like, wisp of tips as a makeup artist is when you put your lashes on. Um, and you guys may already know about this, but I love it. And it blew my mind when I first learned about it. But taking a little bit of carbon eyeshadow with a small brush and just painting the band to get rid of any... because I think we're gonna do a liner to go on top of this. Nice. Yeah. I'm always having to keep remember that I'm on, remembering that I'm on camera. <laughs> and not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like trying to do the lashes. I think that's one of the things I like best about these lashes getting added to our lash portfolio mm -hmm. is even somebody who does have really long, thick lashes, um, who wants that extra um, like these lashes deliver just that. Mm, I love that. I think we've all, as our MAC artists, abandoned every other eyeliner for this liner. <laughs> what a good model you are. Always just looking back at me. Thanks. We're not even going to add mascara, but we are going to add some more Fix Plus just to kind of blend everything in. We love Fix Plus, but we also love that we can powder you down, especially on video. And now we're adding a little bit of this blue. Whatever this blue is, is incredible. Cool element to balance out this look. Uh, so yeah, that's really nice. I like that. <clears throat> uh, we already did a little gloss. Let's do a little shine mixing medium. So. This is from Mac Pro, so we haven't really used any Mac Pro products as of yet. Because we gotta shout you out, we love you Mac Pro on Melrose. Um, so we're gonna use Shine Mixing Medium, and if you haven't used this before, you need to get it in your life because um, it's really good for, again, the whole theme of this um, art library kind of look that we've been doing is just manipulating texture and color to your favor and to what you want it to be. It gives this beautiful texture of almost like gloss, but without being glossy or sticky or tacky. I love how this gives like subtle sheen, but you can always amp it up for more of a glossy texture. And you see how as I'm applying the mixing medium, it's not removing or disturbing the color. That's pretty. It's bringing another element the makeup. How does it feel on your skin, honey? Like nothing. Like nothing, right? Okay, so this is the look. Do you love? Um, we are so excited that this is the inaugural look that starts off this new chapter with uh, Mac and uh, Mac in the Southwest and YouTube. 
Um, thank you, Tawny, for being my model. And thank you guys for watching because without you, this wouldn't be possible. And we wanted to do this for you guys. So we hope you enjoy. Um, go have fun, go create, and share um, your best looks with us at the best, uh, hashtag the best of the Southwest, and tag us in your looks at, at the best of the Southwest here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. Yay. Thanks, guys. Bye. Is that good? Should we I do it think again? so. I think it